Sorry it took so long to get this one done, but it's not so straightforward and I found some things that were pretty interesting. What did he say his name was? Gabatron. There were a lot of things in the patch that I did not do comparisons for, such as fixing the XP bug. Just so you know, this isn't everything in the patch, just the stuff I was most interested in. First is acceleration in a straight line. The notes say acceleration has been decreased by 20% and I quote, This should ease players into the max speed from standing and during sharp movement. As you can see, our times are identical. In my sprinting video, I estimated that acceleration took roughly one second, so I would expect this time to be different by roughly 0.2 seconds. So it does not appear acceleration has been changed in a straight line. Zigzagging, however, is different. It's hard to really tell from the footage because my tests aren't perfect, but you will have to accelerate again if you turn about 90 degrees too quickly, whereas before this was much less pronounced. It does negatively affect people attempting extreme zigzags, but it's still possible to zigzag at less of a degree. This was a really good step in the right direction, but my personal suggestion would to be, you know, to reset acceleration at an angle less than 90 degrees, maybe 80 degrees, I don't know. You can't narrow it down too much or else it'll really start feeling like you're fighting the game. So acceleration changes, I think, are good. I'm disappointed that they said ease players into the max speed from standing when that doesn't seem to be the case, but I don't really care about acceleration from standing as that isn't our problem. The problem is zigzagging, and I think this change was a good thing. Not enough, but good. Now weapon sway is where things get interesting. Here is the pattern 14. We are swinging to our left and the front sight trails to the right. It's hard to say, but it looks to me like this has been ever so slightly reduced. Uh, but they did say this was an ongoing fix, so maybe the pattern 14 got skipped for this patch. Moving on is where it gets weird. Here we are swinging left, but the old footage has the front sight leading, while the patch has the front sight trailing. The sway direction changed, but the amount of sway looks very similar. <laughs> the Bren is similar as in before it led with the front sight, but now it trails. It also looks like sway on the Bren has been greatly reduced. Good changes for the Bren. Here's the jungle carbine and we swing right, and before the sights led, now they trail, with it looking like sway has been reduced. So which is the correct way? Lead with the front sights or have the sights trail? Well, I tested all of these listed weapons from the other factions, and they all had front sights that trailed behind. So I didn't test every weapon in the game, but I tested a, you know, a, a fairly decent sample size. So the patch has corrected that error and improved some of the sway for some weapons. Hopefully this is something they continue working on. On to dolphin diving. I'm not great at doing this myself because I simply don't play that way, but they made it so you have to go through the entire animation now. You can't cancel it, you know, and then continue to dolphin dive. You can still dolphin dive to a degree, but not as fast as before. And honestly, I don't know if it will get any better than this and still keep this, you know, mechanic in the game. What would be nice is if we could have a cooldown on this, so you could only do it once every, I don't know, five seconds or so. But I have have no idea if that would be even possible with how it's built. Maybe they could do something like extend the animation time by another second or so? Uh, that would be good, but anything else probably isn't possible. Overall an improvement, but I would like this worked on further. Last is the AT gun's inverted controls. This was fixed with W now raising elevation and S lowering it just like how it's supposed to work. Gotta have your AT guns working properly for maps like El Alamein. 
There is still a lot that Team 17 has to do to bring Update 14 up to snuff, especially with the way things have been going for them lately. I don't play on console, but I've read a lot of posts saying that the state of the game there is pretty bad. Team 17 has made some really big missteps and the community has sure let them know about it. I think this patch was a step in the right direction. A very small step, but still a step. I'm not going to get too deep on opinion here, but I will say that being critical and voicing opinions is great. It's the only thing we as gamers can really do to help sway the direction of development on our favorite games. It's necessary, and I think this community's ability to get Team 17's attention has been pretty remarkable. Now having said that, I've been disappointed by the personal attacks and intentionally hurtful posts made towards Team 17's community manager and admins. These aren't the people responsible for these poorly implemented changes and missteps. Team 17 seems to have hurt us and has said they are making changes, so now it's time for all of us to move forward. Okay, what are your thoughts on the patch? Good? Bad? Still more to do? Uh, let us know down in the comments. Once again, sorry this took so long for me to get out. Please do all the things to help support me. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.